What's up everyone, Next Number Dogs here, and welcome to the review of the LG Transpire. To start things off, the Transpire features a 4.5 inch scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass 3 LCD touchscreen that has a resolution of 480 this way and 800 that way, and a pixel density of 207. The Transpire runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, but not Marshmallow. As you can see right there. The Transpire features a 5 megapixel rear autofocus camera that records in 720p, as well as an LED flash. Camera software features include face detection, smile detection, digital zoom, digital zoom, geotagging and voice activation while camera shooting modes include panorama and auto and on the front of the transpire it features a 1.3 megapixel camera that ain't half bad in my opinion but it might not be good to others depending on your point of view platform wise the transpire runs a 1.2 gigahertz qualcomm snapdragon 410 chipset with 1 gigabyte of RAM, a Cortex A53 GPU, and an Adreno 306 GPU. Now that Quadrant has just finished, let's go ahead and see what score we got. We got a score of, if my camera can focus, 10,101. And if we look down here, CPU is 39,387, and memory is 3,398 which is quite surprising considering this device is similarly spec to the LG Tribute. Now let's run a Geekbench 4. And as you guys know the Geekbench 4 test takes forever to run so I will return once it has finished. So as you can see here Geekbench has just finished and if we take a look here the single core score is 438 with a multi core score of 1158. And if I stand corrected, this is like much better than the Tribute, correct me if I'm wrong. As usual, check the board here. We're not even on the board for the first one, for the single core. The multi-core, we're not even on the board, but this device probably did score better than the um, LG Tribute, which is always a good thing. And now, it's time for the gaming part of this review. And as you can clearly see here... I have downloaded Dead Trigger instead of that Powerboat Racing game. See if we can open it here. Okay, there you go. It took a minute. This is a pretty graphic intensive game. So, let's wait here. Well, wait. Let's wait for it to load. let you watch this give you an idea of how the quality is and whatever and whatnot to me the screen looks really good in person pretty crisp for, for what it is but that's just my opinion other people might have different opinions And on this screen, it just tells you all your basic controls and whatnot. But as you can see, it's loading. Alright, we are ready to go. So let's get started here. Oh. Oh. Didn't mean to shoot that. <laughs> but as I'm playing here, I. Oh, a little bit of lag. Well, not in frame. As I'm playing here, I don't see much lag, but there is some lag, but not too much. Not too much to notice. Hey. 
headshot. Where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. Oh. As you can see there, gameplay was really good. On my end, I didn't see a little to no lag. So, here's the gameplay. So, going back home. Boom. Solid. Nice and fast. Pretty reliable phone. Alright, in conclusion. When you buy... Well, it's, it's the same story. When you buy the Transpire, you're buying the Tribute. But the Tribute has a uh, much um much what's the word much lower end specs than the transpire tribute has four gigabytes compared to eight gigabytes more space compared to very little space kind of surprised that uh, the tribute here hasn't gave me a low space error but you know, anyway relatively the same well it's actually if we turn them off here exactly the same design as you can see lg down here but on the transpire, you can see Verizon branding, whereas just playing up at, at the top on the Tribute. The Tribute looks like a Nexus 5 because of the uh, dual color, whereas the transpire here is just all black, which I'm a fan of. And in the back, goes for the goes the same as you can see, same design. Verizon 4G LTE compared to LG. You have a sticker on it, LG down here. Speaker, speaker. Exactly the same design as you can see. Cameras and flash and speakers placed the same with a little few, um, little bit of, um, different places for some stuff, such as the, uh, LG logo that you see here. But basically, these are, um, the same devices, just a little bit different internals. So it's all up to you. Which one would you rather have, the Transpire or the LG Tribute? Comment down below. I would like to know your opinion on each of these devices and which one you would like to have. Me personally, I like to have the Transpire just because it has more storage for me and it just looks better. But that's just my opinion. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the LG Transpire. I'll catch you again in the next video.